Okay guys, so what you need to start streaming your new 3DS over to Twitch or to YouTube or even just record your gameplay, you're going to need a Windows PC. I'm using a quad core with 12 gigs of RAM. You can probably get away with a dual core with at least 4 gigs of RAM. You're going to need that Windows PC to be LAN directly into your wireless router and you're obviously going to need a new Nintendo 3DS. You can use the, the new 3DS or the 3DS XL but it has to be the new one. The 2DS and the old 3DS don't have enough power to be able to be to do this wireless streaming. So you're also going to need custom firmware. So so you're going to need Luma 3DS and ARM9 loader hacks. Let's move on to step 1. So the first step in streaming our new 3DS is acquiring the IP address. Now to do that, we have to go open FBI At the bottom here, there's remote install. Go ahead and tap on it. And then tap on receive URLs over the network. So go ahead and copy down the IP address that you see right here. Don't worry about the port. And then go ahead and hit B. And then hit B again. And right above remote install is title DB, which is very handy because we need to open it up and then install NTR custom firmware from here. So we'll just press right on the D-pad three times. One, two, three, and then you should see boot NTR selector. Go ahead and click on it. Make sure you don't get mode three. Make sure you just get boot NTR selector. And then hit install. Now press any button to continue. Hit B once and then hit start to return to the main menu. And we now have NTR custom firmware. It was that easy. So there should be three links in the description. Go ahead and download kitkat.exe. Go to the second link and download OBS. And then the third link should auto download NTR 3.4 preview starter kit. So now you should have three files in your download folder. First off, go ahead and right click and make a new file. And we're going to call this 3DS streaming. Now go ahead and right click NTR preview and unzip it to here so now all we need out of here is NTR viewer so grab the, fo the folder NTR viewer and drag it into our 3DS streaming folder that we just made you can go ahead and delete the other folders that it extracted as well as the preview starter kit itself Go ahead and take kitkat.exe and move it into 3DS streaming. Open up 3DS streaming. And we should see inside we have NTR viewer in its own little folder here, as well as kitkat. So go ahead and open up kitkat. So down here you can enter in the 3DS IP address that you got earlier. And you can go ahead and click this little settings button down here. And we're going to change a few things here. We're going to change the quality to 80. We're going to change the priority factor to 2. And the quality of service to 100. You can then click back on the top here. And we're pretty much ready to go. We just have to enable NTR custom firmware on our 3DS. Which you're going to have to do every single time you want to stream. So all we have to do to enable NTR custom firmware is open up boot NTR selector here and it should automatically load the newest version of NTR. It might ask you to use default settings 
for folders or it might say use custom settings one or use custom settings two if that pops up just tap use default and let it do its thing so every time you turn on your 3ds and you want to stream you're going to have to launch ntr custom firmware it basically is a one-time use it enables itself once and then once you turn off the 3ds it's going to stop working so now that you've enabled custom firmware it takes it no time at all it was that simple we'll go back on the computer and click connect on kitkat and we should be streaming to our pc okay so we're back up here on the computer and we're ready to click connect on kitkat so i'm going to hit connect and ntr viewer should pop up here and here it is now this is in real time streaming from my 3ds right now if ntr viewer doesn't pop up or it pops up with a white screen you might have to click connect a few times and if it pops up with the white screen then you're probably going to have to disable either your firewall or your antivirus it's probably blocking it you can probably set an exception to allow ntrviewer.exe to go through but other than that it's pretty easy so now that you're streaming to your computer what we need to do is set up OBS to allow us to capture this window and then through OBS we can stream right to Twitch. It's super simple. Okay guys, so I'm going to take my 3DS streaming folder and I'm just going to put it on my desktop for easy access later. And we're going to go ahead and open up OBS Studio full installer here. This install should be pretty easy. Just hit next. Hit I agree. And instead of installing it in our program files, we're going to install it into 3DS Streaming. So I'm going to hit Make New Folder, and I'm going to call it so I've called it OBS. So I'm going to hit OK, and we're going to hit Next, and we're just going to install this this Real Sense plugin. This is if you have a green screen. So I don't have one, so I'm just going to hit Install. So now that it's finished, don't launch it just yet. Go ahead and click finish. We just need to do something real quick to our desktop. Right click it and go to display settings. And advanced display settings. Now for resolution, I want you to go ahead and change the resolution to 1280 by 720 on both on any or both of your monitors. This just makes it a little bit easier, a little bit less work for the computer to process when we're streaming through OBS. So I'm going to hit apply, keep those changes. Okay guys, so over here on Twitch, you're going to need your stream key. So you can either type in this URL and enter in your own username or go to your dashboards and then settings and then stream key. And you can go ahead and click show key and it'll show your key and then go ahead and copy it and I'll meet you back over in OBS. Okay, so I've got OBS open here. What you're going to need to do is go down to settings. And inside of here you don't have to do too much, but go down to stream and streaming services and then select Twitch and this will allow you to pick a server so pick the server that's closest to you and then go ahead and paste in your stream key that we just got so next click on output and change the mode to advanced and then you're going to go down to CBR here where it says bitrate and this is going to be dependent on your connection so if you've got one megabyte upload Go ahead and type in a thousand. If you've got two, two thousand, etc. So I've got seven uh, uploads. So I'm gonna change mine to around 2,500 to maybe 3,000. I could go even higher if I wanted, but that works good enough for this PC. Go to keyframe interval. You can leave this as is for auto, but I'm gonna change it to two. And then CPU usage. You can, if you're having any issues, you can switch from very fast to ultra fast but I like it on uh, super fast and then profile I go to main and then everything else that's fine so you can if you're having issues streaming change CR change it to CRF 
and try to change CRF anywhere from 10 to 23. So closer to 10, you'll probably have more luck, but that is just if you're having issues using CBR. Some, some people don't have any issues at all, but I have one computer where I have to stream with CRF. So yeah, if you wanna record stuff, you can go to um, recording tab up here and you will see your recording format and everything. Go ahead and just go to MKV. I find it records best in MKV. You might have luck with MP4 or FLV, but I record pretty much everything in MKV. Go ahead, hit apply, hit OK. Okay guys, so when you've got OBS open up here, you can check out the scenes on the right. Now scenes basically switch between what is being shown. So you can see earlier, this is a scene that I was recording from this, this same video. And you can also see this is my Breath of the Wild gameplay. And it's basically an overlay, which is just an, a PNG image that has a few cutouts so that things can be placed underneath it and on top of it. So that would be your gameplay and your webcam. And so what we're going to do is make a new scene and call it 3DS Twitch. And we're left with a blank slate. You can see the microphone over here. If you need to add a delay to your microphone, you can click on the mixer here and add a delay. And your desktop audio, this is any audio that would be playing on your computer. You can mix that into the stream. But basically all you want to know is hit this button and go to video capture device. This allows you to add your webcam. Mine's not gonna show because I'm currently recording, but you could go ahead and add it, and then you could hit this again, and go ahead and add window capture. And this is gonna allow you to capture NTR viewer. So I'm gonna click this and go to NTR, and hit okay. And there we go. So now I'm streaming wirelessly from my 3DS to my PC. And if I clicked start streaming right here, I would be streaming right to Twitch. So yeah, you can now pretty much make some overlays, download paint.net or use Photoshop and you can go ahead and hit the plus button, go to image, and this would allow you to add an overlay. So I can just add one I've already got. Here's my Zelda one. And you can see if I move it below, then this is gonna sit, my NTR is gonna sit on top of it, but I wanna move it below it. You can hit Control and F to fit stuff. So I'm gonna move this here. Say, pretend this is the top screen of my 3DS then stretch this out and here we go I'd be streaming and it's pretty much that simple I don't know if you guys want to see uh, how to make an overlays video go down to the comments and let me know if you want to see that last thing you're gonna have to do is set up your audio to come out through the speakers of your laptop so I'm down here at the 3DS. I've got an auxiliary cord plugged into the headphone jack and here's the other end. We're going to take this up to the computer and plug it into the external microphone jack which would be right next to your headphone jack. So here's the microphone jack next to the headphone jack. I'm just going to plug it in and I'll meet you back up on the computer in a second. So now that your auxiliary cables are hooked up, you're going to right click your audio, go to recording devices and you're going to click your external microphone, hit properties, and there's going to be a listen button. Go ahead and check this box. It'll say listen to this device. Hit OK. And now your audio should be coming through your speakers. I will turn it up on my 3DS here. And you should, guys should hear it. So now OBS should be picking up your mic as well as your desktop audio should now be your 3DS. So you might have to uh, mute your speakers or plug in some headphones so that you can have the 3DS sound playing 
while you're streaming and then that would mix in your 3DS as well as your microphone into the stream at the same time. Okay guys, so this is going to be the troubleshooting section. Basically, if you are trying to record and you have NTR viewer selected and you're seeing nothing but a black screen, go ahead and click on NTR viewer capture and then click on the gear here to open up the settings. Now make sure it's on ntrviewer.exe and you can click on multi adapter compatibility and it should pop right up. So there is a few games such as Pokemon and Zelda Ocarina of Time that disconnect the Wi-Fi once they load up the game. So specifically for Pokemon it has its own patch built into KitKat. All you have to do is load boot NTR I'm showing you from scratch obviously so I've loaded it and then I want to load up Pokemon Sun now once we're in Pokemon Sun what we're gonna do is load our save file And once we are looking at our character on the overworld, we're going to press the home button. And now we're going to hit connect on KitKat. And now we're able to go back into the game. So this is pretty much what it could look like when you're done. I'll put a couple of overlays down in the description just in case you guys want something quick like this you can throw up just to test out. If you have any questions go down to the comments. There are tons and tons of videos on OBS on YouTube on how to make overlays and how to pretty much tweak the settings to do anything. So I mean maybe don't ask me all your questions but I will try to answer them the best I can. Don't go too far away from your router. You want to stay within a couple of feet of it to have the best frame rate. I don't think there's anything else. I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for coming to Game in Canada with me. Peace.